Mark here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video, I see you see me. So I want to see you press subscribe and become part of the fam. Bam. So you guys, today's video. Hey guys, today is just a really quick um, video showing you guys how I do one of my Saturday wash day routines. So we're going to jump right into this video. First, I start off with one of my DIY black Jamaican um, soap or black Jamaican soap. Yes, one of the DIYs, I'm just using my soap first on dry hair to thoroughly get my scalp cleansed because I noticed when I try to wet my hair, my hair doesn't get thoroughly clean. So I make sure that I thoroughly saturate my scalp with shampoo. And yes, you do use a little bit more shampoo when you do it this way on dry hair, but I feel like my scalp gets a lot more cleaner and I feel like it gets a lot of the gunk off of my scalp. So I make sure that I thoroughly like shampoo my hair on dry hair. You guys, I was just showing you the consistency of the shampoo. It's kind of got like a slimy, a slimy, like slippery feel to it. It doesn't foam up that much because I didn't use that much black soap. And then you guys, if you see my DIY um, avocado oil making video, this is that oil so that my hair is not extremely dry from the shampoo, which my shampoo is not drying. But just to make sure that my hair is not going to get dry from shampooing it, I like to add that DIY um, avocado oil on the top of my hair. And like I, like I told you guys before, it, it has like a really smoky chestnut smell to it. So if you don't like that chestnut smoky smell, you probably want to use the sham the avocado oil in this manner, like with a shampoo or something, or use it as a deep conditioner. So you guys, I'm just showing you the thickness of my hair and what it looks like. Like I told you guys before, I am still documenting my hair loss uh, for myself as well. So after I thoroughly shampoo my hair, I am going to deep condition my hair with my mane and tail. And I'm going to leave my mane and tail in my hair for about 15 to 20 minutes with a plastic bag on my head. And I will add some more of that, um, the avocado oil just to give a deeper, deep condition. You guys, that is one thing that I am absolutely doing to my hair a lot here in 2022 is deep conditioning my hair and making sure that I deep condition my hair for at least 15 minutes. And then you guys, I'm also starting a new thing with how I deep condition my hair. So I will make a completely different video on that, but I am trying to make sure that I am thoroughly deep conditioning my hair. So after I deep condition my hair, then that's when I rinse out the extra conditioner but if you guys know mane and tail is a leave-in conditioner as well so i'm gonna make sure that i still leave some of it in my hair but at this time i'm going to start prepping for my style so you guys um i'm it's not a necessary that i rinse all of this conditioner out of my hair but i'm gonna just make sure that my hair is getting thoroughly detangled you guys i haven't um, combed my hair in this video in about like a month and I noticed that I do need to comb through my hair Especially with the new growth that's coming in because it's a lot thicker around my on my scalp And I noticed that my hair is actually starting to mat on my scalp when I go um, Weeks without washing and detangling like with a comb so I tried to do the finger detangling situation for a while, but I am noticing that the thicker my hair is getting around my scalp, once again, I am not able to um, go that long without combing through my hair because my hair is growing back thick on my scalp. So yeah, I have to kind of detangle my hair with a brush or a comb, not a brush, but I'm making sure that my hair 
is thoroughly detangled now so that I don't have any breakage from neglecting me, like neglecting getting my hair very well detangled. And you guys, once again, I'm using that DIY. Um, why am I stumbling on this word? But I'm using my DIY avocado oil. So just to seal in that moisture and I'm using the mane and tail as a leave-in conditioner because I needed my hair to be moisturized. This week I've been using my DIY gel for the last couple of weeks so I wanted to make sure that my hair had got a little bit more moisture and used a cream this week instead of using a gel. So that's what I'm doing and now I'm going to style my hair. This is why I say that my my hairstyle is a wash and go because technically, seriously, I'm washing my hair and I'm going, I'm applying all of my products in the shower and I am putting my sleeping rag on to set the style for the next morning and then I go. So you guys, I'm going to style my hair in two flat twists with a bun at the back and then I will show you guys my hair in the morning. Yes, my hair is still wet in this video because I put a little bit too much mane and tail in my hair. Like I said in other videos, because my hair is thinner, it doesn't look that thin to you guys. But my hair density is a lot different to me. So I'm still trying to figure out how much product I actually need in my hair when it comes to styling it. So I did have um, white residue left in the back of my hair just because my hair was still wet but as the days went on it did dry completely up I didn't get flakes or anything like that my hair was extremely moisturized until the next Saturday so you guys please just enjoy the rest of the video and this video will have an end result but once again my hair is wet still but it completely dried up so Thank you guys so much for watching and if you try this style please leave comments down below or else if my videos is just helping you please leave comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.
Hey you guys, really quick, just jumping in here, showing you how much my hair is shedding now. And you guys seen how much I combed my hair throughout this video. And this is how much I literally lost throughout the entire shedding process. So yeah, you guys, my hair is really done shedding and I am super, super happy. I'm making sure that I'm taking care of my hair really well, but I do wrap my hair wet, like I said before. And then I take a shower, do what I need to do to get all of the product off of me. But this is how much hair I lost in that entire wash day routine. So I'm super excited. And then this is the end result. This is the next morning. And the front of my hair looks really good, but the back of my hair is still really wet. But like I told you guys before, it dried up with no flakes or anything like that. So... Yeah, you guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video once again, and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!